hey cuties and welcome to another video so y'all this is it this is my official nail room tour y'all if y'all follow me on instagram some of y'all saw this picture before and this is what it looks like now i have been putting in a lot of time decorating it and rearranging it since i made it here to georgia and i've been getting it all set up the way that i want it to look where you know it's my little comfortable space that i can come into and create some beautiful nails for you guys on this channel if you're new welcome to q naturally lovely q where everything we do here is all about nails and I'm gonna be giving y'all a quick little room tour of everything that I have in my room there's still some things that need to be done but we will get there eventually so y'all I have my little di little display out here this is my favorite set of all of them I did this um, set in one of my very early videos so it was in the cards be sure to check it out Real quick, everything that you guys see here, I will make sure that it's in the description box. So if there's anything that you wanna purchase, the links will be there or where I purchased them from. Now, starting off with this cubby, I have my TV sitting up there for now. My husband's gonna get it all mounted on the wall so that way I can put this beautiful plaque that I'm gonna show y'all in a little bit on this stand to kind of get it off of the floor. So I've labeled everything, almost everything in this room. So that way I have some organization and I know where things are and I can, you know, quickly grab it. These little inserts for this cubby, we got this cubby from Big Lots, but the inserts I got from Five Below. They came as a two pack and they were $5 a piece. Everything that you're gonna see, I kind of like got some of that stuff in my 100 subs video. That again will be in the cards, so go check that out. I got these Swarovskis from Hobby Lobby and the little containers that you guys see inside of the inserts, the gray ones I got from Walmart and the white ones I actually picked them up for $2.50 at the Dollar General. So I have like all of my things labeled where I want them. I have some extra stamping plates coming in the mail. I have some molds coming in the mail. So I kind of like pre-arranged things where I wanted it to be and put little inserts in there so that way everything is clean and organized when it gets here. And y'all, I really love this clear jelly stamper. Like it's really, really big and super clear. And it's almost like it's two stampers in one. So I thought that was really cute. And I got these itty bitty ones with some stamping gels that I'll show y'all in a little while. But everything is nice and organized. It's in its own place. I don't have to keep everything in a bag anymore. And I can just easily reach what I need to because I have labeled everything. So be sure to give this video a great thumbs up make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on instagram for more wonderful fun videos like this in the future and to kind of keep up with what i'm doing on instagram as well this is that plaque that i was telling y'all about from my last job they sent me away with this which i thought was really beautiful it's really expensive and i'm gonna get that put up on this cubby as soon as my husband gets my tv all mounted for me um so guys this is that magazine that i was featured in um it's from quarter main media their um, magazine series that's you know they're coming out with so yes their link to instagram was there be sure to follow them on all of their social media and keep up for with any of their um videos and other types of um, entertainment stuff that they have coming out um, this is just my supply cubby right here all my extras of things that I have I just basically kind of put them nice and neatly in here I know it looks kind of crazy but it's neat for me because I can physically see where everything is and those are all the nails that I've done so far that I just kind of like throw in there but yes again everything that you guys see here I will make sure that it is in the description. Um, so one thing I do wanna mention, I like this little cubby setup because if I want to add more of these inserts, I can do that, but I don't like a lot of clutter and my intention is not to have a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, it's gonna probably stay the way it is. These pigments, you guys can see I have so much left. That was from my very last video on me mixing colored um, pigments into hard gel to make colored gels. So yes, I have a ton more that I'm probably gonna use in future videos for maybe like um, 
just putting pigment powders on the nail and giving art nail art some colored effects but yes i have tons of stuff and y'all can see here these little gum packets I'm saving those because I have some striping tape coming in and I figured that this would be a great container to save them in then rather than having them just like kind of loose in that little slide in piece right there. So yes, save those if y'all have it because it is good for organization. Um, now we're going to move on over to my other little table where I keep just a little bit of my stuff. I'm um, just showing y'all my remote kind of keep things out of the way and keep it nice and organized. But this table, it's, I have multiple of these tables. I thought it was three, but it's so many, but I took two of them, two of these end tables and I like kind of jazz them up a bit. Some of y'all, if y'all been rocking with me from the beginning, y'all know I've had this bag forever. This is where all my nail goodies were at one point in time, but I just keep my empty boxes and my um, label maker in here and any other extras of things that I have that you know I kind of like reach for every now and again or won't fit in my little supplies drawer or really shouldn't even be in there. But yes, y'all been rocking with me, y'all seen this bag before. Now these tables, I took two of them. I repainted it with chalk paint. Um, in my 100 subs video, I did show you guys that covering that's on the top that I just put on top of these tables. And these little studs, I got those from Walmart. They come in this um, package right here. Um, it's, it was a whole bunch of them. I used a ton of them in this room and I just had to get an extra because I wanted some purple on my wall. So that's what they look like at Walmart. You will find those in the area where they do like the puff paints and stuff like that. Um, this is just extra little things that I have on this table. Y'all saw this star dish. Um, I was using it as, as a dampened dish, but now I'm using it as something to hold my practice hand in. So that way it's at that perfect angle for me. Um, this carousel that I have here in the corner, we are gonna get to that in a minute cause I really love this thing. But I make sure that after cleaning all of my implements when I'm done doing a set on Camille, which is my practice hand, I go ahead, clean them off, dry them, and I keep them in here so there's no dust or debris getting on it. Now moving over to my carousel. Y'all, I wanted to do this video live, but there is no way my kids was having it and i'm sure y'all can hear them in the background right now but there is no way y'all were going to be able to hear anything i was saying because they were in and out of the room they were making a ton of noise so i'm definitely having to do a voiceover which is okay um so here's where i keep all of my art brushes these sxc brushes when i tell you they give some nail art some life if you're trying to do nail art with them little cheapy walmart brushes that i had gotten you're not gonna get a good um design because it's just not going to work. Get you some good brushes. SXC, I'm going to make sure it's in the description if you are looking for some good brushes for nail art. The other brushes that you see there is basically just my gel brushes that I got in poly gel kits and such. And I finally got some nail clamps. So the next time I do silk wrap nails on myself, I will have some nail clamps. Or if I'm sculpting, which I kind of started practicing with recently, and y'all will probably see in future videos sculpting my gel. I'm gonna need this nail clamp and I'm glad because it came in right on time. Now this carousel, like you can place the, the levels at whichever height that you want. You can see those little slots in the back. It was really easy to put in. It comes with like this little rubber band thing to hold um, the back of the levels into place and it was really easy to put together. So I really, really like this carousel because I can keep a bunch of my stuff on here. It's very handy. It's right next to my chair and my little trash bin. Everything is right there. So I reach over to this a lot and get everything that I need. I really, really, really like this carousel because everything that I feel like is essential to me that I need like right away, I can just grab it and I love that it turns around. I love that it's clear because it, it flows with the aesthetic of my room and how I have things labeled on that clear tape with the black lettering. So I really, really like this. I keep all of my dehydrator, my cuticle oil, different things that I need for my nails when I'm not having enhancements on my nails to make sure my nails don't break. So basically everything I need is in arm's reach and I really, 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 really love that.
So you guys saw this. Um, if y'all have seen my recent videos, if you're not new, be sure to check those out. I kind of like do a little bit of an intro, pre-intro kind of thing where you see my beautiful face and I let you guys know exactly what you're going to see in my video. And this is the light that I use for that. It was fairly inexpensive and I will make sure it's in the description so that way if you would like to purchase it, you can have at it. This I also got at Five Below. Um, the little string lights, I had these a while back from um, Christmas that I decided to use and kind of like jazz up my area, my little fake plant in the back. I've been having this plant forever. She usually goes to work with me and sits on my desk, but she's in here. These beautiful butterflies and that letter Q, I got that also from Amazon. It was three of those letter Qs and I wanna say it was like $3. And y'all see I put those purple studs to kinda of like give it a little color because y'all know I love purple and rose gold. So my rose gold butterflies and my purple studs just look so beautiful. My husband put in all of the little shelves that you see. All of that stuff I got from Family Dollar. Like a ton of this stuff is either from the Dollar Tree or Family Dollar. Um, so I'm just trying to like work with what I have and not go overboard with spending on this stuff. But all of my swatches are basically kind of under the shelf that they're supposed to be in. Those right there are for the gel um, pots that I mixed and they're in my drawer, but I made my own alcohol inks. I swatched those out. And this cup was given to me by a dear friend. It's four of us that, you know, we kind of ride hard for each other. So yes, I love that cup and it's gonna be in my room. This little peel and stick easel board thing, I got it from Dollar General for $1. This is where I kind of write up my ideas of different types of designs that I wanna do. And I write out my outline for how I'm gonna do my videos. Um, this here, you guys, is my table that I am so super excited about. So y'all follow me on Instagram. Y'all seen I threw up that picture before I even got my room together and that was the color. I did not like the color. So I painted it over with chalk paint and that same um, covering thing, liner thing, I basically put it on the areas that, you know, I felt kind of like accented the table. I even put it on the top, even though it was a marble table, I did not like the color. This color was more of what I was looking for, but I basically put that on there and that white clear sheet that you guys see, that's also in the kitchen area at Walmart. I picked that up and kind of cut out the outline, put it in there. The table had two holes in it, so it was perfect for my dual setup that you guys see here. If you want to buy this, it's in the description and it's been in every description of all my videos that you guys have seen, but it works perfect for just sitting those in there. These come with like a clamp to clamp onto your table, but I just took the clamp piece off and stuck the, the tube down into the hole and it works perfectly. That's Camille, you guys, you know, just a little practice set going on on her. This little armrest piece came with the table. It was all weathered and torn up. Those towels, I got them from Dollar Tree and I just took my staple gun, staple it all on up. Everything that you see here is what I keep on my table because I do not do clients. So there, I don't feel like there's a need for me to have like a really clear table. I just keep everything where I need it. This little box, got that from Walmart for a dollar. That's where I keep all of my drills. And here is the infamous lamp that you guys saw in my 100 subs video. Yes, YouTube buddy, you know who you are. This is the lamp. Even though my table is not super big, it is out of the way. And I really love this lamp because the, the turning function on the head, the turning function on the body part of the lamp, it folds right on up. It can flatten all the way down and it's seven levels of brightness. Um, it comes with the cord attachment for it. You see it can even turn all the way towards the back, but it comes with seven function of, uh, functions of brightness, I'm sorry, and I'm gonna show you guys that in just a bit. Is it me or whenever y'all do voiceovers, do you feel like you have to like talk really fast to kind of like keep up with the video? I feel like I'm speeding through everything and I don't want to miss anything, but y'all see the, my little trash can in the back, like everything is really accessible. So I really love my room y'all. I really love my room and I'm so happy to finally have a space of my own where I can create my beautiful nail designs for y'all.
So when I'm sitting at my table, um, I have my drill that's pretty handy, my Melody Susie drill. Um, I really like it. It's cordless, so everything charges up pretty good and it runs for a while. The last time I charged this was maybe like a month and a half ago. So it stays pretty good. Um, these are all the gel pots that I made. All of my essentials I keep right here. So it's very handy. That's my little damp condition brush. I'm getting some new brushes. There's a bunch of new things I'm getting in from different places, waiting on Wish and other places. I'm waiting on a new gel brush from Ready Guana. But I keep everything that I need pretty much handy. My sand and bands and such for when I actually do my nails. These old drill bits that came with my very first um, e-file that broke on me after two months. <laughs> but I keep everything that I need pretty much handy right here at this top drawer and then all of my other stuff are in other drawers i have some extra top coat base coat from savvy land here and some other knickknacks so i kind of gave my daughter a bunch of my nail polishes and i kind of kept the ones that um were more so gel I got some sculptor gel in recently and I've been practicing and playing with that so look forward to a video on that pretty soon and y'all can see that I've lined all of these drawers with that little black kitchen um, thing I got that one from Dollar Tree as well for a dollar and it, it went a pretty long way I still have a ton left but I keep all of my gel polishes and my hybrid gel polishes in here and I had to line all of these drawers because there was some weather and damage done to these drawers but all in all I really liked it um, this is where I keep my other tools and such like my gloves my um, mixing plate I recently got these silicone brushes I really love them they have like dotting tools at the end these are the um gels that i got for stamping so i'm excited to try that out pretty soon i have my red barrel apple barrel i'm sorry acrylic paints alcohol acetone my lint roller all my other like tools and things like that I, that i need for creating artwork and working on nail designs and y'all please excuse my little slippers i'm in my element i'm comfortable in my home so don't go too hard in on me now in my next drawer here is where i keep all of my extensions my mccart extensions my um wall tack for when i'm doing some press on sets which i've done a couple for a couple people so far my dual forms nail forms the silk wraps y'all won't believe i got these right here at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I, I'm not saying that they may be the best quality or not, but I think it's perfect for what I'm doing because I'm not working on clients. So it's gonna work for me and what I'm trying to do. Keep all of my glitters and such in here. Those little lights that you saw in my cubby, I decided to put one in here. And I really love this drawer because I feel like it's the perfect setup. And I'm kind of wishing that the other drawer was set the same way where I can pull it out and see things and have a light in there to kind of illuminate some of the stuff that you know I have in there but this is where I keep all of my glitters y'all have seen all of this in the past if you haven't go back and check out some of my older videos um, I got those things from Walmart that case with all of the stackable ones I keep in another little empty gum thing um, the five gum thing actually I keep all of my stickers I'm not really into stickers so I just have a little bit some poly gels whatever I have left of poly gels and these little um, wheels with different rhinestones and caviar beads those I also got from Dollar Tree and I recently got these caviar beads I want to say it was like three or four of them from Amazon this one I also got from Dollar Tree I'm sure y'all have seen it in your own Dollar Tree and everything else like these little hollow glitters and some flower pieces and such that y'all have seen in past videos that's what I keep in here and these little containers you can either find them I've got those little kind of see-through ones at Walmart or you can find them at Dollar Tree this is where my girls sit and play when they're in here when I'm creating and that is pretty much it this is my space so thank you guys for stopping by and as always i'll most definitely talk to you in my next one